Yeah, I'm being that guy using a title like that. Black guy eats Chick-fil-A for the first time. Yes, we're doing that. So if you're the type that just wants to skip to the meat of the video and don't need the backstory, then go ahead and use the chapters that I have listed in the description section below to fast forward. But for those of you that has come for all of the plot, then listen to the backstory of why this video has been put together and it has been put together because I was talking to the homie CD, external flash about Chick-fil-A and I was that guy to be like, hey, chicken is chicken. I ate all kinds of chicken and chicken is all the same and they're like, yo, you missing out. Chick-fil-A hits differently and so that's why we're here today. Here it is, people. First thing that I'm going to do before I start sampling this stuff is take a whiff. Oh, whew. <laughs> it actually smells quite delicious. All right. So we're going to start with the freaking spicy chicken sandwich. All right, I ate quite a few chicken sandwiches in my time. There's two favorite joints that I like to get my chicken sandwiches from. Uh, my number one spot would be the local um, joint that I like to go to known as Andy's Hot Dogs. I don't know if you guys have a place like that in your area, but that's where I like to get my chicken sandwich because I really like the grilled chicken. And then on top of that, they will put different kind of peppers on there as long as you ask what kind you want on it. Now, everyone knows about the notorious Popeye's chicken sandwich. And people literally threw hands over chicken sandwiches. I'm not even going to go into detail about that because something's wrong with people if they're throwing hands over chicken sandwiches. This world is freaking going insane. So let me try out. Oh, <laughs> stuff is falling out. We're trying it. We're trying it. Now, I'm not going to literally video record myself eating the whole sandwich, but I'm going to react to the taste. And it looks freaking good. Let's go. Okay, I didn't get to it yet. I got a lot of the vegetables and, you know, the tomatoes and stuff. I got to get in the middle, boy. There we go. Again. Bro, we got pepper jack in this box. Oh. Hold <laughs> mm. on. Mm. I'm eating with my mouth full. You know what? I'm not even going front. Mm. I'm not the type of guy that's good at literally analyzing food. I'm not a food connoisseur like that, but dude, it's a very gentle, soft, crispy, melts in your mouth like freaking m and bruh. This is A1 steak sauce. Bro, okay, I'm convinced. All right, chicken sandwich. I'll finish this after the video. I'm done with set, you know, after I'm done recording this. I'm not a huge fan of, you know, the chicken tenders, chicken tendies, chicken fingers, whatever the fudge you want to call it. I mean, they're finger licking good, but then they never hit home anywhere. It's just chicken but chopped up in strips so we're gonna find out if chick-fil-a can change that now this is what it look oh i just bought a small one to sample it and it's the spicy one i will say one thing it doesn't seem like the spice kicks very hard but it has 
but it still is a nice little taste zing to it. It's not that freaking spicy. I'm talking about the chicken sandwich, but so I'm assuming that there's the same level of spice on here. Now, of course, when you're eating this kind of chicken, you got to have the sauces. So there was a debate between Flash and CD about what sauce to use. And that's the standard Chick-fil-A sauce and the Polynesian. So I'm going to try them both and give you all my reaction and my opinion on that. So why don't we go ahead and start with the Chick-fil-A. Let's, let's open it up. It's probably going to take a minute because I have big fingers and they don't give me a lot of wiggle room to pull it open. It looks, it looks like mustard, bro. Or butter is some spit, but you know, it's whatever. Let's, but, but before I use this, let's try it without the sauce, right? Oh my gosh. It's finger licking good. It's not a lot of kick, but it has a very nice flavor to it. And then it's crispy and soft, just like the chicken sandwich. It, Melts in your mouth, not in your hand. Hey, it's, it's freaking good. I ain't going front. All right. Let's try it with the Chick-fil-A sauce. We tried it with the Chick-fil-A sauce, so we take it a dip. Boop. It's a unique flavor of the Chick-fil-A sauce. It's like sweet. And it tastes a little charred. I'm spitting and spit. I like it. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It definitely hits differently. It's a very unique taste to it. It's not boring. I'm going to give it that. And then we're going to try the Polynesian. Now, the Polynesian got like that classic looking barbecue sauce color to it man if i can open it there we go look at that spit i can never get a clean open bro it's always freaking fudged up all right there we go Ooh. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. hold up oh oh that tastes oh my Hold up. Hold up. Mm. Hold up. If you, mm, I like that sweet. That fucking sweet, dude. Oh, shiitake mushrooms. I, you know, I had to stop myself from cussing. Mm. That's fucking fire. Hold up. Polynesian. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the Chick fil A potato fries. Now, me, I'm an old school fry guy. I just like traditional French fries. I'm not into all that extra stuff like seasoned Cajun fries and all that kind of stuff. They're good, but I'm just more of a classic fry guy. As long as it's not salty, as long as it's not, it doesn't have that weird aftertaste like McDonald's french fries is, then I'm good and I'm just going to keep it 200 with you. When it comes to them McDonald's french fries, I feel like they be putting stuff in those fries, man. Because that aftertaste is so weird. And it definitely makes me think something's up with McDonald's food sometimes because there's some individuals where they mature a little bit too fast and they wind up looking like Emma and I'm just going to leave it right there. If you know, you know, I'm not even going to dig myself into a bigger grave. So why don't we go ahead and try these out and see if they hit differently. A little ASMR there for you, but why do I sound like windshield wiper? They're not saucy. 
Non, non, là... Tastes all that different than the traditional French fry. I mean, French fries are French fries, so not too bad. I like them. All right, got Chick Fil A mac and cheese. All right, it's too bright. The Chick Fil A mac and cheese. I mean, I'm very strict with my mac and cheese, bro. The mac and cheese that I can only touch is the mac and cheese that my mama made. <laughs> I'm just being real with you. <laughs> Because all mac and cheese is not created equal. So let's find out if they can either match what my mama can make or hit it out of the park. Like literally give her the L. Let me try this. It looks nice and creamy, bro. Look at this bit. Oh, it's dripping, boy. Got the drip. Hmm. Mmm. Mmm. It, it's good. It's good. You know, it's real. Ooh. This is actually really good. It, it somewhat matches what my mama makes. This is impressive. Mmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was impressive. I, I, A1. All right, A1. Ayo, hey, if you enjoyed this video, then you definitely want to check out my uh, content somewhere up here. You know, it's my anime rights stuff reviews where I review content and share my opinions about it and do some editing on top of that and stuff. I stream. I live stream. So if you would like to talk to me, hey, I look forward to seeing you there. Lemonade is lemonade. I'm just... I feel like it's not going to be any different. I mean, lemonade is just lemonade. But you know what? Sometimes people can shock you. I mean, Wendy surprised me with their uh, selection of exotic-like drinks. Their exotic forms of lemonade. So let's see if uh, Chick-fil-A can get even more exotic. Let's freaking go. Ooh. 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 Ooh, it goes straight to your head. That's really good, though. It's good. I mean, to me, lemonade is lemonade, but this one kind of goes straight to your head, so that's kind of nice. I mean, if you're looking for a buzz, hey, get that Chick-fil-A. I mean, that Chick-fil-A lemonade, bro. Screw the pop. Screw the pop. We got what is called the frosty lemonade. Frosty lemonade. Uh, from what CD described, this is like lemonade mixed with ice cream. How the fudge does that work? Ooh. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, oh, brain freeze. Mm. You know what? <laughs> Ooh. I got anything else. Yo. Yo, yo, yo. Chick fil A. I got, all right. So, dang, Chick-fil-A, I got to hand it to them. <sighs> they food is freaking good. A1, everything was pretty spot on. Now, if there's anything, uh, now, mm, I see I belched and I didn't even eat everything. Hold up. <laughs> Compliments to the chef. <laughs> <laughs> 